here. Yo, what up everybody? It is time to do 2018 Heritage Baseball, four box break, 33. Alrighty. Got a buyback. Well, Chris Fitz, you ever think maybe maybe it's blurry because your computer screen is dirty? Or maybe you're blind. You're on an Apple. Ah, you're on that MacBook Pro, dog. Dude, I still have my MacBook Pro from 2008 when they changed the, uh, the design and they went with the unibody deal. I still have that MacBook Pro. Uh, it works decent. I just I can't upgrade it to the latest operating system. I can only I can only use Snow Leopard on that thing, which is an old ass operating system. The battery doesn't work anymore, so I got to replace the battery. I also have to replace the charger for it, which would cost me a couple hundred bucks. But that laptop the laptop still works pretty well. And I have a Mac, I have a Mac Mini, which I upgraded to like the maximum that I could. I, I spent like almost six grand on that thing, you know, to work on my music and stuff, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, but I still have that. And it still works like a dream. Well, maybe not like a dream, but it still works fine, right, Fitz? So what I love about Max is. They could be a little bit old, but they still work very well. And for me, I, I feel like Apple's dummy proof. You know, like they're, they're expensive for a reason because they just make things so easy. They, they pretty much dummy proof it for people like me. You know, for like, for example, for, for the longest, uh, my mom was using like, to this, I mean, we still have a computer that I had. Uh, built for me when I was like in like in middle school and she still uses that computer for like to check her emails and stuff like that Until finally like the computer just took a shit on us Mind you she was running Windows XP on that thing just to just to show you how old the computer is and uh, Enough she had enough of it. It was way too slow. So she's like all right It's time to like do something and like get another computer and I was like well why buy another computer you could just use mine I mean, all, all you're going to do is, like, check your email and stuff every now and then. So, like, just use my computer. So, she's like, no, I don't want to use your computer because you, you got that Apple shit. You got that high technology. I have no, mind you, this is all in Spanish. It's like, I have no idea what to do. Like, the mouse isn't even a mouse. It's like, because I have the trackpad where you can, like, use your finger and stuff. And, like, and, you know what I mean? Gestures and things to, to, to bend the computer to your will. And she's just like overwhelmed with all this. I gave her like a five minute tutorial. Like you use, you, you click like this, you drag like this, you right click like this, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then I went to go get a haircut, came back like an hour later and she's still on the computer. She's, you know, she knows how to use it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, damn. You know, she didn't even call me once for help. Had she been on the other computer, she'd have been like, oh, how do I do this? How do I do that? five-minute tutorial on the Mac and she already knew how to like use the, the pretty much everything which is pretty sweet and yeah no viruses with the Apple I mean of you could get viruses with the Apple it's just hard but anyway Apple gang all day I've been considering buying an Apple watch I don't know if I should make that investment I just, I really just want it so I could feel like a Power Ranger. You know what I mean? I'll even have the ringtone and everything. Ping, 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 ping. You can call me like, yo, Zordon, what up? Dustin Pedroia, Red Sox Chrome to 
Show me something good, Heritage. An Altuve Deckel. Two out of 30 Astros. Do you also have like an iPhone and stuff like that, Chris Fitz? Are you all Apple everything? Got to random this flashback card. We got a deco here. Max Scherzer, Nationals, 28 out of 30. We have a black AJ Ramos for the Mets. I believe that's a short print. We have Eric Hosmer, Royals. Refractor to five six nine. Hmm, there might be an auto in here because I have I don't see the relic. We're about due for one. This is the last four boxes out of the case. Hope it's something huge. Nice. It is. It's Dick Hughes. <laughs> ah, I couldn't have. I could not have set that up any better. I hope it's something huge. It's Dick Hughes with the blue ink cardinal autograph. He he kind of reminds me of that dude from uh, Major League. I forget his name. Oh, you know, oh, Wild Thing. You made my heart sing. That guy. I forget the character's name, but those glasses remind me of him. That's pretty cool guard. Nice hit there for the Cardinals. That's one box down. Ricky Vaughn, that's his name. Why'd they stop making those movies? Those movies are badass. I think the first one was Major League. And the second one was Back to the Miners or something like that. I don't know. But those movies were uh, pretty awesome. They don't make movies like they used to back in the 80s and, and, and whatnot. Is it just me? By the way, yo, Chris Fitz, I know you're a nerd like me, bro. So have you been watching Luke Cage at all, season two? I've been watching it. And it, uh, 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 well, before I like go into spoilers, have you been watching at all? I don't, don't want to spoil anything for you.
the California Penal League. That sounds dirty. Oh, so you can binge watch. It's only 13 episodes. So you'll probably knock it out like in a day or two. But like, there's like Jamaicans and stuff now. Bushmaster is the, uh, that's the character that is, what you call it, the evil dude this season. Something like that, I don't know. You guys still got about 15 minutes to uh, to get into the daily giveaway of a $100 break credit on our website. Remember, every day we give up to $100 away on our site. In order to be eligible for that giveaway, all you need to do is make a purchase on our website, ripcitycards.com, baby. And if you've never made a purchase, register for an account and we'll send you a $15 discount code. Minimum purchase required of $25 to use the code and you can only use the code on our website. Any and all giveaways we offer are strictly for purchases made on our website. Sorry eBay. But there's no reason for you only to do eBay breaks. Especially when we have weekly, monthly and daily giveaways on our site. But in order to be eligible for those giveaways, you have to contribute to the website, folks. So check us out. Got lots of nice stuff in there. I got another full case of Inception Baseball, all 16 boxes. Pick your team style. Uh, I have a gold standard in the ca uh, cases in the store as well. That product releases tomorrow. That's already in the store. Museum Baseball, half case. Pick your team also in store. Elite Football. Half case, pick your team in store. And we also have an elite football uh, half case random team style. 24 bucks for a random team. That's a good deal. So uh, let's, let's, let's get the ball rolling here on something. Inception baseball already down to 21. Elite football number two at 15. Museum Baseball at 21 as well. Got some breaks close to filling. Let's fill them all tonight. My man Chris Fitz picked up another NASCAR spot. My man. Thank you, Fitzy. Don't know what I'd do without you.
Sorry guys, I'm responding to a customer here real quick. On eBay, you guys know how that goes. sent out oh gotcha 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 see what this dude is talking about all right well respond to that here after i'm done with these ebay breaks anyways sorry to keep you guys waiting here we go my man fitz he playing around with the times let's see if he can finally win some today Deckel for Arenado, 27 out of 30 Rockies. You never know, Fitz. You never know. Today could be your day. Every dog has his day. You know what they say. Today could be yours. Chandler, it's 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 gone. It's okay. I mean, it hasn't gotten any better, but it hasn't gotten any worse. I still I still can't hear out of my left ear. So that right now is what concerns me. You know, but I've had, I've had a cold before. That's not a big deal. I'm, oh, you know, it'll go away eventually. But I'm really concerned about my ear. You know, I hope I don't have like an ear infection or something. Because that would suck. And quite frankly, I don't have money to pay those medical bills. Eric Hosmer, Chrome for the Royals to 999. Those are both Indians. So you're just going to hold on to that break credit if you win? <laughs> Chris Fitz, <laughs> smart man. There's an action image for Buster Posey of the Giants. It's been a very boring day. What do you do, Chandler? I'm assuming you're at work right now, right? What do you do? And you were waiting for me all day. Aww. You're just trying to get on my good side is all. Uh, Mookie Betts of the Red Sox with a patch. Oh, you're in high school. Gotcha. That's summer, dog. So why, why, don't, why aren't you like, uh, I don't know. Well, first of all, Chandler, you're in high school. But what are you like? Are you, are you going into your senior year or are you just starting high school? And I got to give you like a wedgie or something. You know, I got to haze you because you're a freshman. What's what's the deal? You sure you don't have any homework? You sh shouldn't you be like reading a book right now or something? Well, sitting there's all base, right? uh, Chad Green, Yankees, black. Well, sitting there's all base. Don't use cards. Going into your junior year. Oh, man. Man, I remember high school. Uh, dude, I did most of my, like, 
scholastic stuff. Like I did most of my school stuff, my freshman and, and sophomore year. By the time my junior year came around, bro, I was like straight slacking, straight slacking. Because, uh, you know, I was I was a pretty smart kid once upon a time. So, like, my first two years, I had, like, knocked out pretty much all of my, like, required classes. So, for junior and, and senior year, all I was really taking was, like, dude, the majority of my classes were straight electives. Like, my senior year, I only had two classes. I had like I had AP, uh, had like AP government whatever, and then I had AP chemistry. Every other class I had was straight electives. Junior year, I think I had like three classes. I had English, I had I had like a social studies, and then I had some other science class there. I had a, uh, I think it was like AP biology or something, and I I just fucking destroyed all that. I just knocked out all my high school stuff before my junior year that way i just dude i just slacked off my entire junior senior year I, I barely went to school i didn't do any homework like it was pretty awesome i had like three different gym classes like i had weight training i had team sports and then i had uh i had like this other like uh pe class for junior and senior year and i was pretty much in pe like half the day it was pretty freaking awesome anyway i met rosario 24 30 minutes man good times dude i've i graduated 10 years ago like that's nuts like i don't i i, I it, it still has yet to process in my head like i even got like i already got this was a while ago but i had already got invitations to go to my high school reunion fuck that i ain't doing that shit I had fun in high school, but, like, I'm not trying to see nobody. I'm not trying to see anybody from high school that I don't already see. I'm cool on that. Anyways, that's the way to do it, man. Yeah, you got a buddy taking four different gym classes this year? Bro, that was that was me, except I did three class, three gym classes for junior and senior year. It was, it was, it was, oh, man, high school was fun. I had fun in high school. With that being said, I would not want to go back. I much prefer being an adult <laughs> than being in high school. People say, oh, dude, cherish high school. It's the best time of your life. Fuck no, it's not. College is. <laughs> oh, man, wait till you get to college, dog. Well, first things first, you got to make it to college. So you need to, you need to bust your ass in high school, get a scholarship like Uncle Jesse did, but then actually do something with it, un unlike me. Anyway... My man Dodgers for Life says if you heat up some salt in a pot or a pan, put it on a rag ball with a rag up and hold it to your ear, it helps with infections. An old home remedy. I could have sworn I read something about that, uh, Dodgers for Life. I think I also heard about like uh, candling or something like that, where you hold like a candle over your ear, you light the shit. And then the heat apparently causes the earwax or whatever to like rise and you could just, dr I don't know, man. It just, it sounds real shady. I just, I don't want to go deaf. You got a 3.8 GPA. Is that weighted or unweighted, Chandler? Do you even know what I mean by that? Because you got to learn how to finesse the system, dog. If you take an honors class... You get like half a point up in your GPA. Uh, meaning, let's say you pass. Let, let's say you pass a regular class with a B. If it was an honors class, instead of a B, it would be like a B plus. So, if I'm not mistaken, a B like a low B would be an 80. If you get an honors class, it bumps you five points, so you get an 85 instead of an 80. Now, if you take an AP class, it bumps you up a whole letter grade. So if you were to pass an AP class with a C, it would be a B if it were like a regular class. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I took a fuck, I took a bunch of AP classes. I passed them all. I didn't pass any of the AP exams because I honestly did not care. 
I was just in it for the GPA boost, dog. And I think, dude, I graduated with like a 4.5 or something like that. I was in the top 11% of my class. Uh, which I'm pretty salty because I didn't graduate in the top 10%. So I didn't get like that fancy little tassel. I was pretty upset about that. But I was like one of 20 people in my class to actually get a scholarship to go to college. So that was pretty cool. Like you see my name and like, you know, there's like a program or whatever when you graduate and my mom still has the program and every now and then she'll whip it out she'd be like look you had a scholarship what happened to my son and I'm just like oh god oh god why are you doing this to me and I told her from the very beginning like before I even started like high school I was like mom I hate school but you're so smart no thank you I appreciate it but I hate school I don't want to go to college. I don't want. I just want to know. Uh, I went to a college called Full Sail University, Chandler, and I don't mean to brag, dog, but I got accepted to pretty much every university in the state of Florida, except the one I actually wanted to attend. I wanted to go to the University of Miami, the U. And I got accepted to every other school that I applied to. I got accepted to Florida International. I got accepted to the University of Florida. I got accepted to Florida State. I got accepted to uh, that, that school up in Tampa. Uh, I got accepted to Central Florida. Dude, I got accepted to a bunch of schools. But not the one I wanted to. So I was like, well, fuck this. I, I took that as a sign. And I just, you know, I pursued my dreams of uh, getting into the music industry and the entertainment industry. Hasn't really gone my way yet, but uh, there is still hope. Candle pulls the wax out. The salt on a rag is what your pops did for you. It always helped you. Hmm. That's why I'm tripping out, Dodgers, because I've been on this earth for about 28 years, and not once have I ever suffered an ear infection. So this is brand new territory for me. So that's why I'm like kind of freaking out. Because I, I kind of need my ear. <laughs> I, can't, I need both of them, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty worried about that. I'm like, it doesn't hurt. Like, I don't have any pain. It can fuck with your balance. No, for sure, dude. It, it's already, it's already messing with my balance. Because I can't hear anything out of my left ear. And yeah, like I, 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 you know, I get what you're saying. You get, you get, uh, what's the name, uh, uh, vertigo and shit and stuff. Luckily for me, I have really good balance, so it hasn't really bothered me that much yet. Um, but it, it, it's, it's worrying me. It, it is worrying me. My thing is this: like, I have a very high pain tolerance, so like, even if, it, like, even if it hurts, I. I wouldn't know because it doesn't hurt me. You know, do like, you understand what I'm saying? I'm kind of a masochist in that sense. So I'm not worried about it until like it actually hurts. Like when I'm in actual pain, that's when I that's when I'll do something about it. I'm I'm I am just not a I am terrible. Anyway, as you can see here, rookie auto for Nikki Domonico or the White Sox. He don't got no ear infection. That's nice. On card auto. Heritage is so, so nice. Just really hard to hit in it. Got a black Guillermo Heredia for the Mariners. Exactly, Dodgers for life. That's how I feel. I'm not going to go to the doctor unless I'm dying. So I'm not going to go to a doctor or anything until this thing is like... Until I hear like frequencies from like the mothership or something on my ear. like, Or, or unless I'm like... You know what I mean? I, I'm not going to visit a doctor unless I am in excruciating pain. For better or worse. Did you already pour hydrogen peroxide in your ear? Uh, no, I have not. I have not done that. Uh, I feel like that'll make my eardrum burst or something. I don't know. Uh, Joey Gallo, Rangers Chrome. That's the 999. Does hydrogen peroxide in your ear work? I mean, I don't know. Dude, I, that's the thing. I don't I don't have insurance. So, if I do go, it would have to come out of my pocket. 
And, uh, yeah, I am not doing that. I can't even afford to die, bro. <laughs> ah! Anyways, what else we got in here? We already hit two autos. Very nice. Hmm. MMBTVS. You, I might have to do a little Google search on that and see... Uh, if I'm not going to go deaf doing that. So Chandler looking to get a business degree at UMKC. What is that? The University of what? <laughs> Middle Kentucky College? I don't know. Dude, follow, dude, you're still in high school, bro. Like you have, you're going to hear this a lot right now. You have your whole life ahead of you, dog. That's what you're gonna hear a lot. The fuck you do? Like I, I, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick you in the ass a little bit here, Chandler. You need to figure out what you want to do in life, and you need to do that as soon as possible. If you already know what you want to do, bro, pursue it and do it, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If that's your dream, and that's what you want to do in life, and that's what's gonna make you happy, and blah blah blah, then do it, man. But you gotta start now. Don't be like, oh, I'll do it next year or whatever. I'll wait till I'm in college or, oh, I'll go to a community college and I'll figure it out then. Or, oh, I just need a job to pay these bills and then I'll go back to school. Like, no, man. Do it now. Do it now. Don't think about tomorrow. Do it now. Right, Bryce Harper? Action image for the Nationals. It's the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Ah, Funny enough, I was born in Kansas City, Missouri. So I, I'm, I'm, I may have attended that college had I stayed there. But then when I was two years old, my mama was like, nah, we going to Miami, beer. All right, we got a deco here for the Giants, numbered uh, 8 out of 30, Buster Posey. Hmm. So the old hydrogen peroxide on the ear trick, eh? I'm going to have to ask Siri or Google and see what's going on with that. You live in Kansas City, Missouri? Nice. What do you guys, what do you call people from Kansas City, Missouri? Don't you call them squids? I, I think that's what they called that one kid in, in Rocket Power back, uh, back in the day. Oh, dang, I forgot about this uh, box topper here. My man went ahead and gave me a link. My dude. Do a little reading. You should always do your research. Always do your research. Whoa. How do you like living in Kansas City, Missouri, Chandler? I wouldn't know, because I left when I was like two years old. I had no say in the matter, so. And I, have, I haven't been back. But I, w I would like to go back, you know. Visit the uh, hospital I was born in and what not. I also read that, you know, it, it kind of just goes away sometimes, too, the, the whole ear situation. I read somewhere that, it, that sometimes it just goes away because, you know, I came down with a cold over the weekend. And that's I think that's how I got the ear infection in the first place was because of my cold. And I'm kind of still dealing with it. So I think that's why the earache, it's not really much of an earache because it doesn't really hurt. I just I just can't hear out of my left ear. It sounds like I have an earplug in there. Um, but yeah, I mean the the, the cold is still kind of hanging around. So that's that's what I think is is going on. But what do I know? 
Not a whole lot to do for the teenagers, but the people are great. Great barbecue. That's what I hear about about uh, the old KC. Known for their BBQ. And I love me some BBQ. What's up, Ripping Gypsy? How you doing? Just doing a little uh, heritage at the moment. After this, we do have one more eBay break to do. Uh, the Chrome Baseball coming up after this. Your older siblings move to California, but you get to visit them every summer. Hey. All right, last box mojo. So we got There's a patch. Hanley Ramirez of the Red Sox. So much for getting another auto. That would have been nice.
Dennis Keiko Astros Refractor to 569. Dodgers Deckel, 6 of 30. Van Kershaw. The Black Evan Gattis Astros. Well, Chandler, I wouldn't know, man. I, I we don't I don't own a card store. I don't own anything. Uh, we work out of an office. Uh, we don't have a storefront. But it's 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 cool, man. I gotta tell you, uh, I don't collect cards. You know, I'm relatively new to the hobby. Uh, but I got to tell you, it's a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun uh, have, seeing people chase after cards and then actually hitting them is pretty sweet. Seeing, you know, grown adults absolutely lose their minds when they get a nice hit is pretty awesome. So, you know, I, I enjoy what I do. I definitely do. A rookie Aussie Albies, 11 to 30 for the Braves. You know, I'm still learning about the hobby, so, the, so there's also that. You know, trying to relate to my peeps. You know, because a year ago, I had no idea what PC meant. And it stands for Personal Collection. I didn't even know what a RPA was, Rookie Patch Auto. So, you know, I'm, I'm relatively new to the game. There you go, Dodgers for life. You're welcome, my man. Thank you for joining the breaks, dude. Uh, speaking of breaks, that's it for this one. Uh, there's a couple randoms I gotta do. So let's start off with these uh, buybacks here. What about you, Chandler? Do you have like a a part-time job or anything you do, like in the summer? Uh, Tom Reynolds of the A's with the buyback. Somebody needs to learn how to cut a card, apparently. Centering on that is just alpha. For the Angels, Bob Rogers, the buyback. Uh, is that the magenta back? It is. Nice. The magenta back right there for the Angels. You babysit? That's pretty cool. Yeah, they cut cards pretty bad back in the day from what I can see. But still pretty cool. Alright, let's see what we got. And these box toppers. Uh, we have Davers of the Red Sox on the back. Cubs, Giants, Padres on the front. Which, so that means we have to random it amongst all four teams. And on this one, we have Benintendi, Red Sox on the back, Rays, Mets, Dodgers on the front. So uh, let's start off with the, our randoms here so we can see who gets what. All right, we're going to go six plus three. That's nine. My math's not the greatest, but I think that's nine. So let's see what we got. Let's see. We got two teams. Quick math, right? Quick math, quick math. Man, not men never hot, or whatever that guy says. Uh, all right, let's start with the then announce. As you can see, I got a team on the left and on the right. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and random that. See this how there's only two spots. I'm gonna put each twice to make the uh, random a bit more fair and more of a true random. All right, we're going nine times. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Well, yeah. And the money shot nine. Now nine. Boom, nine. He's going to go to the right side team. All right, so the right side team. So this one will be Rockies, Nationals, J Cardinals, the Yankees, the Indians, and the Marlins. Now we're going to do these that have three teams on it. Alright, we have three teams here, so left, center, right. So we have a left, a center in a right spot let's go ahead and do the damn thing that's one three four five six seven eight and the money shot nine boom it's gonna go to the center team Oh, I didn't wait. Yeah, I did. Center team. So center team would be Nationals, Rockies, Mets, Nationals, Mets, D-backs, A's, Yankees, Indians, Indians, Red Sox, Rockies, A's, Mets, Nationals, D-backs, Indians, Indians, Red Sox, Nationals, Yankees. So now let's do this one with four teams. We've got a left spot. A center spot, a top right, and a bottom right. Left center, top right, and a bottom right. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and the money shot. Nine. Nine times is going to the top right team. So the top right team wins this card, which is, that's the top right. So we have Royals, Rockies, Royals, and Rockies. Now let's do these uh, box toppers. We got three teams on the front and a team on the back. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Put the random back up. Left, center, right, and back. Here we go. And the money shot nine. Boom, nine times is going to the team on the back. And the flashbacks need ought to also be random. 
I'm making a note of all this stuff for my uh, for my sorters. All right, so this box topper, this one right here, goes to the team on the back, which is the Red Sox, Benintendi. And this one also goes to the team on the back, which is the, uh, the Red Sox. So both go into the Red Sox. Now for the flashbacks, it needs to be random amongst all teams. So let me do the old copy and paste situation. For the flashback cards, let's do that random. Here we go, nine times. Chandler, I'll be here till at least one in the morning, my man. I ain't going nowhere. What's up, Big Greg? And money shot nine, good luck. Nine times the White Sox will be receiving the flashback cards. So, these are the flashbacks right here. All these going to the White Sox. And now, time for the recap. So, our buybacks were uh, Bob Rogers of the Angels with the magenta back. Very nice. Uh, Tom Reynolds, A's. Uh, I found a couple uh, action image cards. These are all blacks. Gaddis Astros, Heredia Mariners, Ramos Mets, uh, Green Yankees. Action image cards, Buster Posey Giants, Bryce Harper Nationals. Uh, patches, Mookie Betts, Red Sox, Henley Ramirez, Red Sox. So both patches to the Red Sox. And the autos. We hit two autos in this thing. We have Nicky Delmonico, White Sox, and Dick Hughes for the Cardinals. Very nice. And, of course, any variations, uh, short prints, error cards that I may have missed. My sorting team has the codes. They will go through each individual card, make sure they are uh, sleeved and top-loaded, and we'll get it right out to you. But uh, that was the break. Thank you very much.